Welcome to 60 Skills. Today's topic is the use of TUMO as a developmental tool. For those of you who are unaware, TUMO is a technique from Tibetan Buddhism. It is specifically a way of developing your internal energy. What is interesting about it is TUMO also involves training of the structure and the breath. As such, it is a very powerful tool for esoteric development. Now, TUMO is often referred to as a practice that generates a large amount of internal heat. This is true. Keep in mind, there are a couple of variations upon this that we're going to discuss now. The most important of which is Trollcor. Trollcor is a part of TUMO training and it can also be engaged in as a form of standalone training. Again, why is this valuable? Both TUMO and Trollcor involve the training of energy, which is good, training the mind, which is good, and training the body. So as such, both TUMO and Trollcor are very effective standalone systems of development. Well, 60 Skills, isn't 60 Skills largely concerned with Hermetics? What does Tibetan Buddhism have in common with it? Well, that's an interesting statement that will be part of another lecture. But to, to sum up, the simple fact of the matter is, is there is actually a relationship between the two that most are unaware of. It is quite old, but it does not change the fact that a variety of Hermetics practitioners also tend to practice Tibetan Buddhism, particularly the more physical techniques. But getting back to TUMO, so how does TUMO work? Well, classically speaking, it involves deity fusion. You fuse with a Tibetan deity. Two, it involves breath retention, where you hold your breath while focusing your energy on your lower abdomen, amongst a bunch of other points in the body. And three, it involves the rotation of the abdomen while holding the breath. This has a very interesting energy packing effect upon the body. Now, where troll core comes into this as part of the TUMO training is while you're holding your breath and rotating the abdomen, you also can do a variety of movements or washing maneuvers with the body as well. This in turn drives the energy associated with pranayama or breath retention further into the tissue and also trains ligaments and tendons in the body. Depending upon the posture being used, this may be a more electric or more magnetic effect. Finally, all of this can also be charged with various mantra. So what I'm getting at here is that for many Hermetics practitioners, there's a distinct lack of body training involved. The end result of this is that most of the stuff they are working with largely occurs at the mental, akashic, and in some cases non-dual light level. However, getting past the mental level is quite challenging because in many cases they lack adequate internal energy to do this with in terms of its conversion from one state of energy to another. Practices like TUMO, or troll core if you will, greatly enhance the amount of energy a practitioner has, mainly through the process of pranayama or breath retention. It also forces this energy out into the superstructure of the body, which in turn trains the ligaments and tendons in the body. It also goes without mention that Tibetan yogic practitioners in the last century or so are some of the better known magicians that were, currently, that were openly operating. So what I'm getting at here is the practice of Tumo, aside from its relevance in terms of the Tibetan Buddhist religion, also carries a variety of metaphysical and physical benefits to a practitioner. Also because there is in fact a relationship between Hermetics and Tibetan Buddhism that most people don't, are unaware of, it isn't really completely outside the bounds of what we train. And to be honest with you, every time I've gone to a Tibetan Buddhist practice or a meetup, there's usually more than one Hermetics practitioner there. In fact, I know of at least one high-level Tibetan practitioner who's very much aware of the Franz Barden system. 
So I'm just throwing this out here so the people understand that not all lines of training outside classical hermetics present a problem for what we do. Additionally, some of them can be quite valuable. So these are some things to think about. If you liked today's lecture, please hit the subscribe button down below and give us a like. If you'd like more information on what 60 Skills is up to, check out the details portion of the video down below. Otherwise, have a great day and be well.